Hey guys, so today I want to go over something I cannot find anywhere on the YouTubes. Maybe it is on YouTube, you know, buried under all of the how to make millions of alliance points every second videos or something like that. Anyways, I pulled this from a website and I want to convert it into a video form for all the lazy people like me who are not a big fan of reading. I will have the website linked in the description if you want to go check it out. But anyways, today we will be covering all of the alliance war ranks, the alliance points required to get to that rank, and the rewards that come from achieving those alliance ranks. First off, what the heck is your Alliance War rank? It is like, it is your PvP experience bar. So basically, this is per character, it's not account wide, so it just determines and shows how long you have been playing PvP on that specific character. And uh, as you level up, you get rewards like dyes, and you know you can buy furnishings with it. Also, you get skill points. You can check to see what your Alliance rank is if you go to your Campaigns tab and look at the bottom there. And, uh, you know, in the bottom. And uh, you can also check it in your character sheet. If you go to description, it'll show you there. But in the campaigns tab, it gives you a little bar of progress like it would if you were earning normal experience. But unlike normal experience, it does not tell us exactly how many alliance points we need to progress to the next rank. So there's no way of really measuring your progress without knowing exactly how many alliance points you need to get to the next rank. And that is what I plan to cover in this video. So let's begin at the very, very bottom. So if your character is brand new or has never PvP'd before, you will have this rank. This is the citizen rank. You don't get really anything with this. And, uh, well, it's just at the very bottom. And, uh, well, that's your rank. It doesn't take any alliance points to get there. If you create a new character, this will default. This is your starting rank, okay? Listen. I should probably quickly mention that there are grades to these ranks. So if you're getting confused about what the heck a grade is, uh, basically they use the same icon. But after a certain amount of alliance points, you graduate to grade 2. Like you would if you were in school or something. While we're on the topic of mentioning things, I think I should also mention that um, your alliance rank overall, so the amount of AP required to get to the next rank, is a cumulative. So basically subtract grade 2 from grade 1, and that is the required amount of AP to progress to the next level. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of the heavy maths for you guys so you don't have to. So in order to graduate from Citizen to Volunteer Grade 1, you must earn 700 alliance points. In order to graduate to Grade 2 of the Volunteer Rank, you must earn 900 alliance points. At this rank, you unlock Volunteer's Iron and a Pennant Small based off of your alliance. In order to graduate from Volunteer Grade 2 to Recruit Grade 1, you must earn 6,400 alliance points. In order to graduate to Grade 2, you must earn 14,400 alliance points. At Recruit, you unlock a Wall Banner Small, depending on your alliance. In order to graduate from Recruit Grade 2 to Tyro Grade 1, you must earn 25,600 Alliance Points. In order to graduate to Grade 2, you must earn 40,000 Alliance Points. At this rank, you unlock a Wall Banner Medium, depending on your Alliance. In order to graduate from Tyro Grade 2 to Legionary Grade 1, you must get 57,000 Alliance Points. And to graduate to Grade 2 of Legionary, you must get 79,400 Alliance Points. At this rank, you unlock Legionary's Lead. And you also unlock the camp banner, depending on your lines, of course. In order to graduate from Legionary Grade 2 to Veteran Grade 1, you must earn 131,600 Alliance Points. In order to graduate to Grade 2, you must earn 99,600 Alliance Points. At Veteran Rank, you unlock a wall banner large, depending on your alliance. In order to progress from Veteran Grade 2 to Corporal Grade 1, you must get 160,000 Alliance Points. Um, in order to graduate to grade 2 of the corporal rank, you must get 193,600 alliance points. At this rank, you unlock corporals green, and you unlock a point capture flag based off of your alliance. In order to progress from corporal grade 2 to sergeant grade 1, you must get 23,400 alliance points. In order to progress to grade 2, you must get 27,400 alliance points. At this rank, you unlock sergeant's charcoal, and you unlock a ballista figurehead based off of your alliance. In order to graduate from Sergeant Grade 2 to First Sergeant Grade 1, you must earn 313,600 Alliance Points. In order to graduate to Grade 2, you must earn 360,000 Alliance Points. At First Sergeant, you unlock a Surplus Flaming Oil. In order to progress from First Sergeant Grade 2 to Lieutenant Grade 1, you must get 409,600 Alliance Points. And in order to graduate to Grade 2 of the Lieutenant, you must get 462,400 Alliance Points. At this rank, you unlock a Surplus Ballista based off of your Alliance. In order to graduate from Lieutenant Grade 2 to Grade 1 Captain, you must get 518,400 Alliance Points. And in order to graduate to Grade 2 of the Captain rank, you must get 577,600 Alliance Points. At this rank, you unlock Captain's Violet, and you also unlock the Scattershot Catapult based off of your Alliance. 
In order to graduate from Captain Grade 2 to Major Grade 1, you must get 640,000 Alliance Points, and in order to graduate to Grade 2 of the Major Rank, you must get 705,600 Alliance Points. At this rank, you unlock the Stone Trebuchet based off of your Alliance. In order to graduate from Major Grade 2 to Centurion Grade 1, you must get 774,400 Alliance Points. In order to graduate to Grade 2, you must get 846,400 Alliance Points. This rank, you unlock Centurion Medal, and you also get a Battering Ram of your Alliance. In order to graduate from Centurion Grade 2 to Colonel Grade 1, you must earn 921,600 Alliance Points. In order to graduate to Grade 2, you must earn 1 million Alliance Points. At this rank, you unlock a Fire Ballista based off of your Alliance. In order to graduate from Colonel Grade 2 to Tribune Grade 1, you must earn 1,081,600 Alliance Points. In order to graduate to Grade 2, you must earn 1,166,400 Alliance Points. At this rank, you unlock Tribune Steel, and you also unlock an Oil Catapult, depending on your Alliance. In order to graduate from Tribune Grade 2 to Brigadier Grade 1, you must earn 1,254,400 Alliance Points. And in order to graduate to Grade 2, you must earn 1,345,600 Alliance Points. At this rank, you unlock a Fire Pot Trebuchet based off of your Alliance. In order to graduate from Brigadier Grade 2 to Prefect Grade 1, you must earn 1,440,000 Alliance Points. In order to graduate to Grade 2, you must earn 1,537,600 Alliance Points. At this rank, you unlock Prefects Grey, and you also unlocked a Forward Camp based off of your Alliance. In order to graduate from Prefect Grade 2 to Praetorian Grade 1, you must earn 1,638,400 Alliance Points. In order to graduate to Grade 2, you must earn 1,740,600 Alliance Points. At this rank, you unlock a Lightning Ballista based off of your Alliance. In order to graduate from Praetorian Grade 2 to Palatine Grade 1, you must earn 1,851,400 Alliance Points. In order to graduate to Grade 2, you must earn 1,954,000 Alliance Points. At this rank, you unlock Palatine's White and a Meat Bag Catapult. In order to graduate from Palatine Grade 2 to August Palatine Grade 1, you must earn 2,079,600 Alliance Points. In order to graduate to Grade 2, you must earn 2,190,400 Alliance Points. At this rank, you unlock 8 Ice Ball Trebuchet based off of your Alliance. In order to graduate from August Palatine Grade 2 to Legate Grade 1, you must earn 2,310,400 Alliance Points. In order to graduate to Grade 2, you must earn 2,433,600 Alliance Points. At this rank, you unlock Legate's Black and a Deface Flag of the opposing factions. In order to graduate from Legate Grade 2 to General Grade 1, you must earn 1,560,000 Alliance Points. In order to graduate to General Grade 2, you must earn 3,689,600 Alliance Points. At General, you unlock General's Gold and a Cold Fire Ballista of your Alliance. In order to graduate from General Grade 2 to Warlord Grade 1, you must earn 2,822,400 Alliance Points. In order to graduate to Warlord Grade 2, you must earn 2,958,400 Alliance Points. At Warlord, you unlock Warlord's Red and a Cold Fire Trebuchet of your Alliance. In order to graduate from Warlord Grade 2 to Grand Warlord Grade 1, you must earn 3,097,600 Alliance Points. In order to graduate from Grand Warlord Grade 1 to Grade 2, you must earn 3,310,000 Alliance Points. At Grand Warlord, you unlock Grand Warlord's Violet and a Keep Pennant based off of your Alliance. In order to graduate from Grand Warlord Grade 2 to Overlord Grade 1, you must earn 3,385,600 Alliance Points. In order to graduate to Overlord Grade 2, you must earn 3,532,400 Alliance Points. At Overlord, you unlock Overlord's Purple and a Disconnected Transit Shrine. In order to graduate from Overlord Grade 2 to Grand Overlord Grade 1, you must earn 3,688,400 Alliance Points. And, in order to hit the maximum and highest rank possible in the Elder Scrolls Online PvP, for your Alliance rank at least, you must earn 3,841,600 Alliance Points. At the maximum rank, you unlock Grand Overlord's Brass and a Decoy Elder Scroll. So basically, if you're a Grand Overlord at this game, uh, then you're pretty much like a nerd. That doesn't mean you're particularly... That doesn't normally mean... You don't have to be good at the game to be a Grand Overlord is what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say it in the nicest way possible. Because you can play this game for years and years and years, but still never get any better at the game. Because you never really bothered to pick up anything else other than just play the same character over and over again and surrogate up and see what you do. 
But yeah, I hope I cured some of your curiosities about how the Alliance War ranking system works. As I mean, ranking as in your character's Alliance level. Because Zenimax never actually gave us a real good explanation on it. They didn't give us like any XP tracking bars other than that little bar that moves up occasionally after you do a battleground in your campaigns tab. That's about all we got. And um, I'm just glad to have these questions for myself answered. And hopefully this helped to answer some questions about you. Because the more informed you are about this game, the better at it you will be. Even if it's just small things like this Alliance War thing. And if you haven't left the video by now and you're listening to this part, then please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel as we're almost at 1,000 subscribers and I'm very excited. But also, if you watched it this far in the video and didn't get bored, that means I did my job, you were entertained, and you probably learned something. And any support you show is appreciated. If you guys want me to look into other little systems that ESO doesn't explain too well and cover those and, you know, do some maths and stuff for them, I'll do that as well because I genuinely enjoyed doing this and learning from it. It was very fun to do and put together for you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I did. But yeah, I've gone on long enough. You guys, have a good night.